I bought a $1.15 million New York City apartment from... A robot. A robot. So we've got uh, this particular... Wait, is she is she a writer? Is she a writer? I feel like she's no. trying to make a headline. Was she purpose... Mm. Like, that's a headline. It is a headline. I, but it, the writer it? was Luis Weiss. Luis Weiss. Lo, it could be Lois. Lois, Lois Weiss. And uh, the buyer was Asuenza Alvera. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Anyways, she started hunting for a bigger Brooklyn apartment. An ad on Instagram mm-hmm. caught her eye. I mm-hmm. clicked on it and figured, why not? She told the Post. This is a New York Post article. We'll link it up. I was trying to do it myself on the internet and felt I didn't need an agent to show me what was available. Break that comment down, would you? Didn't need oh, an agent on, on to, you, Nicole. to show me what was available. This isn't like something that's just happening here in 2020. This is a trend that's been happening for a long time. Now that essentially all of the MLS is at people's fingertips yes. through Zillow or Realtor or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You definitely don't need an agent to show you what's available. Mm-hmm. I do think having an agent obviously will help you, you know, maybe get into a property quicker, sooner, give you a little bit more reliable information. Because how many times do mm-hmm. you have a buyer that sends you over a link and it doesn't say that it's contingent, right? Right. So but I that's mean, right now. But when Zillow has the direct feed from the MLS, that's going to get corrected. Right. You know, that's going to... Well, as long be- as they're advertising it. Because yeah. I don't know, I, in all honesty, if Zillow is trying to attract buyer leads, why would they ever want to put that it's contingent on there, right? It's like having a for sale sign yeah. outside of a ha- outside of a home and putting under contract. Do you ever put under contract on your on your on your for sale oh, for sale signs no, in I the mean, front I, of a house? I, I mean, I would if I had all the time in the world, but I just don't feel like driving over there. Oh, see, I don't thing. do that. Everybody, well, a lot of people. Because then you're listen, you're missing all those leads, and the people aren't calling. Well, a lot of people think it's bad. Uh, juju bad juju yeah i, I mean, don't I, agree with that i, think I do agree with that too but i don't ever put under contract silly. on the sign because the, the purpose of the sign is to get leads so if it's under contract no one's going to call you on the property so here's this robot this robot's done over a thousand trans he does look just like flag come on now you see it even more i bet well they have a fake picture of what the robot would look like luke. meet luke a real estate chat bot luke has done over a thousand signed leases this particular transaction was luke's first sale yeah this is all since 2019 what site is he on like where are you where are you there's like a luke bot site so luke is uh through what's called real friend hmm. and uh launched the beta in march of 2019 i don't know a individual who since March, you know a single free. solo agent free who's done use. a thousand leases from march 2019 mm-hmm. Until today, that's Who an incredible wants number. To, though I don't want to do a thousand leases. Well, in New York City, leases are very leases are more well, lucrative in New York than but some is of the this, homes you but is sell. This, well, p- very true. Yes, very, but is this? But is this? Um, is this a free service to? This is the, a free service, uh, for, but for the buyer. But I wonder mm-hmm. if so. If I'm a landlord and I don't want to spend money on a real estate agent, is this sort of like putting it on like a Zillow? Like, is it a Zillow listing on there? Maybe that's why he's doing so many. This was a Douglas Elliman listing. It was listed through uh, Alex well, that Maroney was, but I'm kind of, I'm, of Elliman. I'm backtracking to the rentals. I'll have to look into that because I bet you you just use Luke as a as a as sort of your listing rental agent, right? right. And Douglas Elliman uh, had the listing with one of their agents, Alex, but they used this chat bot. Uh, bu- 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 we probably should have done a little bit more research before. Hopping well, no, on I mean, I, I did read the whole article. I don't think you read any of it. I didn't read any of it. So real friends, licensed agents uh, meet the couple for their weekend tours as um Oh, so there's a licensed look. agent. So the licensed agent is definitely making money. I mean, come on. Look at the licensed yeah, agent is right. meeting them there. But, but, he, yeah, but let's just break this down a little bit. This person that bought this New York City apartment. Yes. She liked the fact that when she texted yes. questions or when she's at a property yes. and instead of asking you, Nicole, like, um, do you know where the septic is? Do right. you right. know if I can hook up to public water? Right. Do you, I don't know, I don't know. Instead of hearing all of the I don't know bullshit you hear from the agents bot all know, the time. The bot knows all that, the bot knows. The bot, as this technology gets even better, is going to be able to just in real time if 
if one, if the uh, listing agent, seller, whoever has input that information, they're able to just spit it right out. Uh, also, they're gonna be able to look up public records, look up things. What was the last time it was sold for? How much did it sell for? How much square feet? What's the price per square foot okay, it sold for last so time? Okay, so what I would riddle here then is why don't we have a bot? We should have a bot living on our website or something then on our- Sure. Because then if you, because as, as the listing agent then, if you if that's all you need to do is put in the answers to all of these random questions that you know the answers to, you know, just put it in there. Right. My, my point is this buyer enjoyed the process. Right. Had a more enjoyable experience by getting questions answered immediately back in real time. Yep. So if it was at, in the middle of the night, yep. if it was in the morning, if yep. she was on a showing, if she's yes. looking at properties, yes. she could fire off questions to Luke and Luke would have those answers. He didn't have to wait for Luke to go drop the kids off at soccer practice. Right. She didn't have to wait for Luke to get done I'm, with the laundry. I'm 100% behind it. And like I'm saying, I think that if we're if we're learning anything from this, as agents, we should have a bot on the front end to answer any questions, but you still there still was an agent involved in the in the in the process. That she still no, had to work. This was Luke's transaction. Love, scooch on down. It says that she they no, met a real friend agent. The no, family no, no, met no, a real no, friend no, no, agent. No, 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 no. That was for for that was referring to the leases. This particular sale was hmm. done without a buyer's agent. So what, it was a dual agency with the listing agent? Now you've hit it, right? Mm. So does this mean, and New York, I don't know what the dual agency laws are, but does this mean if you've got a bot as a listing agent and you have the bot now do the showing and do everything else, mm -hmm. which technically, you know, here you wouldn't be able, you'd have to have a licensed agent physically at the property. Right. Right now, the way the rules are set up, that could all change down the road. But you have a bot that's dealing with that buyer isn't that now dual agency? What is that bot going to be able to have the ethics and right? right. You're not going to be able to sign. My point no. is, you can't sign no. No. the the buy side of the deal mm -hmm. under that bot. So that person now has to legitimately sign. It, this is how I would look at it here in Connecticut. If we had a bot doing a showing and answering questions for buyers. I think that I think it's something have you should definitely sign, institute though. I mean, I would love to talk to a bot. Either dual agency or we'd have to have them sign unrepresented because the way the laws are, right? You, you got to have some type of representation form or unrepresentation form right. filled out. Yes. But the big punchline here for every single agent, every single broker, every single team is, are you providing enough value? Are you providing a good enough experience for people like, as, I don't know how to say her name, but I'll go with the last name, Alvera. Are you providing enough value to Alvera where she decides I do want a human involved in my transaction or I'm just gonna go to the bot every time, right? Hmm. Are you a door opener or are you the knowledge broker that's providing a great experience to the buyer who is there not to meet agents, not to make sure agents get a commission who's there to buy a home. I have so many more questions for her though. <clears throat> I do. Because it, it doesn't even sound like she gave an agent the opportunity to provide her with a good or bad yeah, service. Yeah, she literally said she wanted she to do it. Right she was trying to, to do it herself on the internet. Right. And she felt like she didn't need an agent to show me what was already available. Right. I, I, and I, it's, it spurs so many questions. His, but I do think my, my takeaway here is that you should have a bot. I mean, if you, well, it's his, actually brilliant. I mean, do you know how many questions you get yeah. asked this the time and time and time and no, time I again on like a listing? Yeah. His AI intelligence allow, or his AI allows him to chat with thousands of people simultaneously and keep each one on his mind 24 seven, adding uh, that 40,000 people. He's not sleeping. Already have interacted with Luke uh, since 2009, 40,000 people. People. I feel like I need to go onto the site. I need to understand it better. Like, so as an agent, I can, can I, can I yeah, hire Luke to you can Luke go on real be? friend. I don't, it's probably a lot of money to buy Luke or, or to create a Luke. Um, but does Luke answer questions for every house? Luke has all the answers. How does Luke have all to, the answers? I gotta find out how to uh, spell or say this girl's name. Let's see if we can Oh, get it last time we did this, it was wrong. Oh, she was in <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I did a better job. Let's let's try that one more time. Let's just let's just. It see. sounds like a juice. Let's see if they can hear this. I think I did a better job. Oh, she was in that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Alvera for the last name and the first name. Sorry, 
uh, buyer of the one point five million dollar apartment. Totally mm-hmm. butchered your name. Got a picture of her. Looks looks like a uh, pretty young lad there. Mm-hmm. So all right, Luke the bot is now your competitor. Uh, let us know if you think this is a racket. If bots are going to take over the showing game and the buy side of the transactions, love to hear from you. Do you think you. that? You feel um, that? Well, well, I've said it for uh, only about eight years that there's there is going to come a day where we're far less than a million uh, licensed real estate agents. We're at one point three, one point four right now. Yes, we don't need all the door openers. I that agree. We have. I, I agree. But I just most buyer agents provide <clears throat> absolutely no value to the transaction. Okay. I mean, it's just no. Truth. I'm agreeing with you. I just the bot thing. I feel like there's still so many questions left to left to be answered. Protect your brand by going above and beyond. This is a service. There are things bots aren't going to be able to do. Yeah. And and there are going to be things that that we can't do in terms of talking to forty thousand people in right a, in a year. Again, my point here though is that she didn't even give anybody an opportunity. Right. So well, think about it. If you were looking for homes, and you could go with that service. I mean, you have all kinds of information being an, a licensed agent, but geez, that, that, I mean, that seems pretty desirable to not have to deal with other people's bull crap hmm. in the process. Maybe. I mean, it does, it does seem a little desirable to me. 